How's it going YouTube? Stan here with another video. I got the truck behind me. The one I leave at home tucked away. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to give you a front to back, up and down review of everything that I've done to a truck. Uh, last time I was here filming for the truck, I was talking about most of the things that I've done to the truck now. So we're going to get into it. I'm going to explain as much as I can. And I've had a lot of questions from people about like what parts that I use. Uh, why did I do this instead of that? So I'm gonna try to answer that in this video for everyone once and for all I sent you a link to the video in a comment. This is why so let's go ahead and get into it All right, so as you can see this is my 2002 Silverado 1500 single cab regular bed 5.3 motor just give you the basis of what the truck is. So if you're looking to build something like this That's what I have uh, I mean, 04 to like 07 before they went to the other body style, or 03 to 07 before they went to the other body styles. Pretty much the exact same. So, I mean, you can go from, what is it, 99 to 02 for this particular body style, 04 to 06, 07 for the cat eye body style, which is a basically the same truck, different front end. So, this is what you need. This is what I started with. I've had this truck for a while now. Um, and I guess we can start on the outside. Uh, you can probably see it, probably not. So anyway, like I said, we're gonna do front to back on this video. So I'm gonna start right here where all the magic happens. You may or may not be able to see it, but I have a Mishimoto oil, or trans fluid cooler in the front. It's their large one and needed that for the 4L80 that I have underneath this truck, but we'll get to that. But uh. That's one of the things you need to kind of, some people think it's an intercooler, which I think is funny. But like I said, Mishimoto, transfluid cooler in the front. But nobody cares about that. You got to have it though. Remember, this is everything that I feel like you need for this particular truck to do what I'm trying to do with it. So take that with a grain of salt. Take it like you want. Uh, something that's not really that great, but I've had it since I had the truck. Pretty much, I bought it pretty soon after I got the truck, was the... K and N cold air intake. It's pretty cool. My particular setup now is probably a bit restrictive, but it's here. It is what it is. I'm thinking about building another one later on. And with this intake, I had to cut the fan shroud. One upgrade I have not done yet is electric fans. Uh, if you're gonna do this, do the electric fans. I will be doing the electric fans here shortly. It's not that hard to make direct uh, swap kits for this. But reason is, because I had to cut the shroud. I did the best I could. I had to cut the flan bla fan blades down there too. Don't highly advise that, but I had to do what I had to do. So anyway, uh, with this particular setup, I did, uh, they're basically some cheap long tube headers that I got down there. Got them from Summit on sale. They work. As you can see, they don't uh, particularly fit this truck too well. I had to beat this one right here for the steering. Uh, steering shaft but it works uh, another thing that you can obviously see is MSD coil pack wires uh, pretty basic uh, not that important but another big standout is the Holly sniper intake that I have slash summit intake that I have for this truck um, it looks good I don't know how well it works it'll be a little bit better with boost I, I feel like but I kind of wanted to do it. I want to have, like I said, this is everything that I feel like I needed personally in my particular build to do what I want it to do. Now, whether it's right or wrong, that's up for debate. But this is just me giving you guys an overview. I want you guys to keep that in mind before you go in the comments and act crazy. This is just what I felt like I needed to build the truck the way I want it to. And then you can't see them. Maybe you can see it on the other side a little bit better. If you look right there i got my prc ported heads from texas speed uh they seem like they flow good they work good so that tells you i have upgraded springs uh, i'll kind of get into the motor a little bit now um with the heads got them ported they're a two and a half port job with their upgraded pack racing springs uh their upgraded push rods hardened push rods for the particular cam that i have in here and uh, rocker arms and such like that uh, I had this I had upgraded springs and push rods previously in this truck with my old heads but then I had when I did this 
and everything else I did to it, I had to upgrade those things again or just get new different specs of them. As you can see as well, uh, I got the Holly Sniper EFI uh, fuel, fuel rails uh, with the AN fittings and everything like that. Stock injectors, these are still stock injectors under there. But like I said, Holly EFI uh, fuel rails, uh, Holly valve covers, which I've had forever, they're not that important. Have this is another Mishimoto product. Uh, I am sponsored by Mishimoto uh, with my car, so I got these products for the truck. Mishimoto oil catch can. Probably need to check in to see if it's full or not yet. This is I'm trying to figure out what the range is on it. The little KN filter. Like I said, uh, just to get rid of the PCV system, this is coming. This particular line is coming from the driver's side. Just to get rid of the PCV system that this truck has to not go back into the intake. Uh, another thing that I want to mention is I have the stock throttle body back on because uh, previously I had a Holly Sniper EFI intake on here and well throttle body on here with the Holly EFI IAC and no particular reason not gonna say anything I had issues with it so I just decided to get rid of it to make things work this is the fast 102 throttle body adapter this fits a three bolt ls throttle body to a four bolt flange uh so this is all the parts you need i have the throttle body adapter this truck o2 is cable driven uh i can't go to a drive by wire so with that being said i had to get the holly cable bracket to mount my cables my cruise control throttle cable so this is what you need for the throttle body setup. You're gonna have to have the fast uh, plate. This is just what I pieced together from Summit. It works for me. Um, you can choose to use this or not. Uh, I'm sure there's another system. Another thing that I would recommend is a Nick Williams throttle body. Uh, when I get the money for that, it's expensive, but when I get the money for the Nick Williams, they have a Nick Williams, I think it's a 102 throttle body that's also cable driven. That's the best of them. Uh, I had, like I said, I had the Holly. I had problems. I know people who've used them who don't have problems, but I won't be using Holly throttle bodies anymore. Like I said, I looked into it. Nick Williams will be my next try. Uh, Air motor fuel regulator. Reason being is because I had to deadhead the fuel system here. Usually on the trucks, they cross over between the two and then go back into the return line. There's another. There's usually a third line that comes that joins into the crossover around this area on the stock uh, throttle on the stock intake and it goes back into the tank well with this deadhead system and with these fuel rails um, if I could have tied them front and back I could have made this work but alternator got in the way don't want to relocate it there's no need to air motor fuel regulator four innovations fuel pressure gauge works fine it's pretty simple use summits uh, I don't know if they're new they're new to me use some it's a uh, push lock and fittings with the push lock hose works great this truck makes almost 60 pounds of fuel pressure and I don't have any fuel leaks here comes a Mustang up the hill so it's about to get really loud all right so after that display of noise from that grand old Mustang anyways I can go back to just the motor here for a quick second I have the Texas Speed 224 224 cam with a custom 110 LSA. Uh, shout out to the people at Texas Speed, my buddy Gary. Probably never watched this video, but Gary was the guy that helped me out on that. Uh, got all my bolts, everything I needed to get this set up. Uh, pretty much I got everything to, through Texas Speed. Um, gaskets, bolts, I mean not the intake stuff, I got most of that from Summit, but just the major mechanical stuff I got from Texas Speed so shout out to them um, also just I mean I throw it in there I threw a new water pump on there I fixed a lot of leaks I had too I don't have oil leak anymore I don't have a water pump leak anymore fix the rear main seal got that from Texas Speed uh, put a new front seal in on the balancer got that from Texas Speed so that's good stuff too that I'm happy about just personally about just the truck in general but anyway um, like I said, I'll go over here. everything I have. I have tenant headlights, headlights, I can't talk today. Tenant headlights with the uh, turn signal light section anyway. When I'm fixing that, I'll have a whole new video on that here shortly because I got the headlights and everything. 
uh, got my, they call them the snowflake wheels, but I know what they're called. They're the GM all-terrain wheels, uh, replica. Got them off eBay with my uh, R1 Concepts rotors, uh, drilled and slotted. They work good. They stop good. They haven't cracked yet, so I'm happy with them. And I painted my calipers, just stuff like that. And then, uh, same thing on the rear, different tail lights. But another thing I want to talk about is I can see if I can get in there. I have my Caltrack traction bar system uh, on this truck. Now, I've had this traction bar system for quite a bit of time. And now that I have it uh, installed, it won't focus. But now that I have it installed, uh, I can show it to you guys. So I have that. And the biggest piece of the puzzle, the biggest change of this whole setup from front to back. Besides, I had a cam in the truck before. You guys can see the video on that. I've had the cam in the truck before. Yeah, the heads were nice to have. Um, but the biggest change and one of the most major parts of this truck was we'll get down here, we'll get down and dirty. And I know you won't be able to see it. Maybe if I get try a little bit harder. My, oh, oh, nope. Anyway, you guys have seen the videos of it. I can't get a good shot of it. Truck's too low. But uh, I have my 4L80 uh, conversion, basically, underneath the truck now. Um, and it works good. 4L80, uh, swapped it out. This tr truck was originally a 4L60 car. Or 4L60 truck, excuse me. I can't talk today. 4L60 truck, uh, swapped it for a 4L80. I have a Circle D 3500 stall converter. Um, and then uh, with this setup, this is just for a piece of my, or just an idea for whoever else is watching this video trying to get an idea. If you're going to swap from a 4L60 to a 4L80, they can make you a 4L80 converter with a 4L60 face so you don't have to change the flywheel. Now, I could have changed the flywheel because I took the rear main seal off to fix that. So, I had to take the flywheel off to do that. But, I didn't want to spend money on the flywheel on this. I mean, it works fine. So, there's that. You can do a 4060, 4080 swap. Relatively simple. But, um, other than that, I mean, uh, basically everything in this drivetrain of this truck is brand new. Except for the bottom end of the motor and the rear end. I even fixed the rear end. I had a little slow leak on the rear end gear, uh, gear oil fix that so i mean other than the bottom end of the motor and the rear end everything on this bad boy is fresh or just about as good as i can get it for now with uh with my budget uh the next plan is to get rid of this and either have a single over here or now speed engineer makes a twin turbo setup for these trucks that would be nice uh and it's relatively affordable uh, only thing is i'd have to modify my exhaust once again for the third time to accommodate the turbos but i can deal with that but like i said that is pretty much the end all be all of this video i know a lot of people have asked about the truck and what i do well what i've done to it so this is just my video explaining all that to you guys so you guys can see and understand uh what i did other than that i mean i got it tuned uh to do the 4L80, all you have to do is segment swap the 4L60 calibration for a 2500 HD 4L80 calibration, and the 4L80 has been working fine. Uh, like I said, everything on this thing, this bad boy is fresh now. I'm happy about it. No leaks. Um, I had a little hiccup with my transmission. That was my fault before. I mean, even the drive shaft. I got the drive shaft cut the length. Uh, I know. I tried to be one of those guys to make the drive shaft work without cutting it, cutting it by cutting the yoke. I don't advise that. If it were me, the place where we get our drive shafts here around Atlanta, Atlanta, is pretty cheap. So uh, I kind of advise that. I mean, he's put whole new universals in it, everything like that. So I mean, like I said, even something as simple as a drive shaft is fresh. It's new. Uh, not wasting you know having a bad part or having something like that slow me down so uh just stuff like that was something that i would learn from this experience like i said do the proper things with the drive shaft only thing that i didn't buy there's two things i didn't buy i didn't buy the 4l80 cross member conversion we made 
uh, the stock 4060 cross member work and it works fine and electric fans I would advise electric fans and I would say that would be about it as far as just parts that I would personally truly wish I would have gone with um, I mean the fans are simple you don't really have to take much apart to do the fans and the cross member like I said I don't feel like it was necessary one thing I will say is necessary that you always overlook is that drive shaft and other than that everything else is pretty simple I did all the work myself so uh, that saved me money like I said uh, really want a turbo in here but anyway I'm gonna give you guys a couple of idle clips again um, I don't have my GoPro with me right now so I can't really give any driving clips uh, too good of driving clips so uh, I hold that for another video unless I get my GoPro sometime today if I don't put this video together that might work but anyway um, I have this video posted for you guys drop a comment let me know what you think about the truck let me know what you think about everything that I've done to it I'm trying to you know talk and see if I can think of anything else I mean there's just cosmetic stuff but mechanical stuff is what you guys care about so I guess that's it guys um, Give this video a thumbs up. Oh, one more thing. I'm getting rid of these LS1 badges. As a matter of fact, I wanted to share this moment with everyone. So I have these wonderful, I'm glad I thought about this. I have these wonderful LSX badges. And I think that's going to look just right on this truck. So, uh... I think it's clean enough now that I can do that. So give me one second. Okay, I lied. Uh, this truck's a little dusty. So uh, I'll peel these off when I get home and I'll throw, slap those on. That was another major thing I wanted to do. I wanted to do the, put the LSX badges on. I'm glad I thought about that. Oh, and another thing. Don't have to do it, but I did it anyway. I put a new fuel pump in the tank. A Walboro 255 liter per hour pump. Still not enough pump for when I go turbo, except for like 400 horsepower. So, I'm going to have to do it again, but my sending unit and the truck didn't work, so it always read that the tank was empty, even if I filled it up. That was the main reason I did it. So, I mean, eh, that's not bad. Like I said, and it's a wild burl, so it's pretty good. So, uh, that's just another thing, but like I said, guys, I appreciate you for watching the video. Everybody have a great day.